Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are unboxing Crybaby's Crying in the Woods. This was Crybaby's very very first series, so I got this as a resale set since it is a discontinued series. And this is 12 basic designs confirmed, so no chance of secret today, but still quite excited to see these figures. This has been under my table for almost a month, and I finally got to unboxing it because I've been busy with school before this, so yeah, let's just take a look at the designs. Here's a look at the box. It's actually a very small box, so I believe the older Popmat series boxes are smaller, so yeah, this is one of the ones with a small box. And turning over, we have 12 basic designs and two secrets. I'll attach a photo of the two secrets on the screen. Um, it's actually really really cute but the prices are crazy high for these two secrets so um, I unfortunately did not get one so we are going to be sticking with the 12 basic ones today. And as you guys can tell the boxes are already all opened. I've already checked through all of them. They are all different designs so there are no repeats so that's a good thing. Let's go, box number one! All the figurines are still inside the foil. As you guys can tell, the foil is sealed. So I actually bought this set for almost the same as the retail price, just slightly higher because it's a discontinued series. Figure number one is Logger. So these figurines are very very tiny. I wonder if you can tell. Um, it's almost about the height of my finger. And this one comes with a little log because she's a logger. I especially love nature themed um, blind box series because it's just something about the designs that really really catch my eye. So this particular crybaby has blue tears. So this one really reminds me of the recent Powerpuff Girls series. It's the same tier color as Bubbles. And Crybaby has recently been so hyped up. It's so popular, sold out everywhere. And I am quite lucky to get my hands on this set since it's completely discontinued. You know, you can't find it anywhere else. So yeah, that's why I decided to buy at least a full set of basic designs so I can collect it and keep it for myself. So yes, here is figure number one, box number two. I was quite surprised this came with the big box. Usually when you purchase 12 basic designs, they kind of just send over 12 individual boxes. So it comes without the big box, but I was pleasantly surprised when I saw the big box. Figure number two is Little Eagle. When I closely looked at it, I think this one has quite a lot of defects. As you can tell, the cheeks are a little bit scratched up and the hair has this um, white mark. But, you know, I, I guess I can kind of overlook it since they are pretty small, the defects. and. Um, you know, the one on the hair is behind, so I can't really see it. So, Little Eagle comes with a Little Eagle as an accessory. I really like the dark colored hair Crybabies. It's really very iconic of what Crybaby was, like, in its initial, I, I guess, initial design or form. So, this one is very, very cute. Um, she has a little feather on her headband. I'm assuming it's an eagle feather. Very nice! I actually appreciate the entire series being in a sitting down posture. I think the more recent Crybaby series have been different positions. Yeah, some standing up, some sitting down, some lying down, but this one, everyone is sitting down. So I think when they are uniformly sitting down, it actually looks pretty good. Box number three. I realized that the foil is much thicker than the current Popmart foils. It's something different. Figure number three is tree. Oh, I really like this one. This one was actually one of my favorites when I first saw this series. 
and she comes with a cute little owl. It's supposed to kind of rest on top of the tree stump like this. This is such a cute design. So when I first lifted up the box, it felt really heavy. So I was guessing it's this one. So Crybaby is inside a tree stump or tree trunk actually. And she's wearing very cute, I don't know, is this rich shoes or socks? Yeah. And there's a little leaf growing out of her hands. I especially love the hair color, reminds me of caramel. Such a cute design. This is why I love nature themed series. They really just kind of surprise me with their designs and ideas. So yeah, I really like this one. Box number four. Figure number four is Explora. Oh, this one's another black hair one. So she comes with a little orange bird. And I'm honestly quite afraid that I will lose these individual pieces of accessories. But I'll try my best to keep them all. So this little girl, she's an explorer. She's kind of wearing a typical scout uniform that we will see on students, I guess. She has a black bino around her neck and it looks like her tear is a little bit stained over here. It's like a little bit yellow. I guess this set is pretty old, so maybe there's some discoloration just, you know, from how long it's been kept. So I guess I can overlook it. <laughs> She's wearing a cute yellow hat. This kind of hat kind of reminds me of Japanese students, Japanese kids. I feel like they usually wear some kind of yellow hat that looks like this. Like I said, I really like how they're all sitting down, so I appreciate the uniformity. Box number five. Figure number five is Big Bear. So this one comes with a little teddy bear and it's in kind of like the same sitting posture as Crybaby. So this is the first one with orange hair. I think orange hair is also pretty iconic of Crybaby. And she's inside a bear suit with a sort of hat with two ears. So she really looks like a bear. And a little bit of a stain here once again, but I'm not intending to sell this off, so I can really just live with the defects. I do know of some people who really, really mind the defects, and I don't blame you guys because some of these stuff can be quite pricey, so obviously we'll want everything to look as perfect as possible. But of course, I also do understand that many of these are factory made, so a few defects here and there are bound to happen. But yes, this one is another cute one. Like I said, I love the hair color. Yeah, let me know which one is your favorite so far. I think for me, it's definitely the tree one still. Box number six. Figure number six is Fisherman. So this one's head is really loose. It literally came off as I was trying to put the fishing rod onto the figure. So I guess I'm able to turn its head. So this crybaby is a fisherman and I think this accessory is really, really cute. It's a little can with a worm crawling out of it. So this one is probably the fish lure. And look, Crybaby actually did manage to catch a fish that's blue in color. I love this hair color as well. I believe one of the secret design has this same hair color. So Crybaby is wearing a very interesting outfit. It looks like she mm, is not wearing a shirt, so that's pretty breezy. Turning around. Here's how she looks like on the back. I love the hat as well. I like how they all sort of have a little bit of texture. It's kind of to show that perhaps it's a straw hat or it's an outdoor hat and it really vibes with the whole nature theme or the whole theme of Crybaby being in the woods. And in fact, the illustration behind, let me move it over a little bit, the illustration behind is actually telling a story. It's like they're all gathered together in the woods, crying of course, um, but they are sort of having a camp 
and I think that is really very very cute. So when you have all the figures together, they will look very good together. Box number seven. Figure number seven is Climber. Oh, this one's really cute. So Crybaby is in winter gear with a very snuggly beanie. So I'm assuming she is actually hiking in the woods or hiking up a mountain to actually meet these other groups of Crybabies for a camp. And why I say camp? Because the flag she's holding actually says Cry on the front and Camp on the back. So yes, we have a lot of evidence to assume that they are actually camping in the woods together. One thing I really love about this one is the use of colors. So black hair obviously plus one point and the red outfit contrasts very well with the green socks. So I really like this color combination. And turning around we have a caramel colored backpack so i think this one is really well done might actually be my second favorite so second from the tree trunk one so let me know which one is your favorite so far box number eight this box is very damaged figure number eight is girl scout Okay, so this crybaby is wearing a sort of banner around her and it says camp So maybe she is the camp leader seeing how she's a scout and she comes with a cute little squirrel I'm assuming because it has a really bushy tail focus There we go squirrel so i'm not really a very big fan of the color combination here used uh, she has orange hair um that's awesome but i really don't think it matches very well with the pink and the green but um, perhaps some people might find it appealing so she is actually very adorable she's wearing a dress um actually no she's wearing like a shirt with skirt for some reason she looks kind of different from the rest perhaps it's because her hat, it's kind of small, it looks kind of small, yeah. And her tear here, it's kind of chipped off as well, so mm, another defect. <laughs> but yes, once again, just grateful to have the series with me. Box number nine. This one's really tiny. Figure number 9 is Raccoon and Friends. So who are the friends? It's actually a little squirrel, an acorn, and a fire. So this fire reminds me of Calcifer from How's Moving Castle. Um, and I believe this is the first and last time that Crybaby has ever included like a sort of side character into one of their figures in the lineup. Um, this one is probably very not well received because it's not a crybaby. Since this one completes the set, I can't abandon it. So yep, here is a look at it. Um, this raccoon is holding a marshmallow and there the fire is supposed to be, I, I guess, on the other side so that he can burn the marshmallow. And this one really has a lot of accessories. I'm so afraid that I will lose one of them. But yes, not much to say about this one since it's so small. So yeah, here's figure number 9. Box number 10. Figure number 10 is Bush Boy. Alright, in my distant memory, I believe Crybaby is supposed to be a girl, but since this one's called Bush Boy, it's probably going to be a he. So we have a little Bush Boy, and uh, Crybaby has a bone on his hair, and he's holding what looks like a arrowhead. Yeah, it looks like an arrowhead. He's wearing this beaded necklace. And he's only wearing this sort of wrap skirt <laughs> made of leaves, I believe. And this crybaby actually comes with a skull accessory. So yes, that is figure number 10. Box number 11. We're almost done. Figure 11 is Big Fox. 
Oh, this one's a cute one. Is this the first one with brown hair? Yeah, I believe so. I think the others had caramel colored hair. And she comes with a little mushroom. This reminds me of the Ziga walking into the forest secret. It's also this kind of red mushroom design. I believe this is a fox. Yes, because Crybaby is called Big Fox. And she's in a fox suit. It's very typical fox color, in fact. So on top, she's wearing a hat with two ears. It's very adorable. This one's actually pretty cute. I think during its time, probably one of the more popular ones. But yes, that is figure number 11. Our very last box, box number 12. Figure number 12 is Boy Scout. Oh, this one! It matches with this one! So, this is the Girl Scout and this is the Boy Scout. And as you can tell, they have matching outfits. It's the same shade of green, wearing the same hat. Just that this one is green and this one's pink. And their hair color is different. So this one's orange, this one's more brown. Very cute! And this one has brown eyes. This one has blue eyes. And the flag that the Boy Scout is holding matches this one. So I believe if you put both of them together, it would make up Cry Camp. And I think that's actually pretty cute. But it does make me wonder why the Girl Scout isn't the one holding this flag. So yes, we have the Boy Scout here. The accessory is an oil lamp. It's actually pretty cute. It would have been great if it was attached onto the hand, but I guess because all the crybabies are sitting down, so um, the accessories can only be the ones facing upwards if they're if they're holding it. So this one would just be on the floor beside crybaby. So yes, that is figure number 12. Alright, here's a look at all the figures lined up together. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and what kind of videos you guys would like to see next. And that's all for today guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye bye!